It's the 1982 arcade classic, Joust. This game has another name, you know. How long have you been watching Classic Game Room? That's right, it's time to drop some bird ass on your enemies. In the bird ass tacular Joust. They should just change the name to bird ass. You don't shoot your enemies, you don't stab them. One could say that you assassinate them <laughs> with your big bird ass. So here's the deal. Classic Game Room invested in the Giant X Arcade Tank Stick to give arcade games some more love around here. And along with the rather sizable controller that you'll see in the review, comes a disc packed with six essential must-have Midway arcade games. Joust, Robotron, Smash TV, Gauntlet, Rampage, and Defender. This is an authentic reproduction of Joust running on the PC. Played with a real arcade-style joystick and arcade buttons. Short of owning an actual Joust arcade machine, this is the best bird-ass experience you can have. Joust is one of the greatest arcade games ever made, yet it doesn't have the slew of remakes like many other ones, such as Frogger, Pac-Man, Spy Hunter, and others. There's a sequel, Joust 2, which I'll be covering. For the most part, it sort of slipped into obscurity, but back in the day, Joust was really popular. And I spent countless hours playing Joust on my Atari 7800 and loved it. I still love it, but this has got to be the best. Because using a real arcade-style button to flap those wings to drop some bird ass on bad guys is priceless. Actually, it wasn't priceless. It was expensive. But it's still worth it. Maybe it's a good thing that Joust hasn't seen a variety of sloppy 3D remakes because the beauty lies in its simplicity. It's played with one button and a joystick. That's it. Joust is hard as nails, and unless you're really good at it, the games are short, fast, and super challenging. And it's lots of fun, and like other Midway arcade machines, such as Robotron 2084, it kicked you off the game quickly, but had you coming back for more so that everyone could spend a million allowances worth of quarters playing Joust. If you've never played Joust, as you've probably noticed, you're scored points for bird-assing some enemies, but also for catching their eggs in mid-air. You get extra points for that, or just collecting the eggs in general before they hatch and turn into new jousting guys. While there's no obvious time limit, if you hang around a level too long, the pterodactyl will come out and kick your ass. So it is in your best interest to get rid of all the bad guys quickly. I love bouncing along the platforms with the bird ass. That's the bird ass bounce. Even though the controls in Joust are fairly simple, they're really challenging to master. Because you can only flap your wings so fast and gravity controls how quickly you descend. Maneuvering around the screen to destroy the quickly moving enemies is the challenge in Joust. And a fun challenge it is. Which is why it's one of my favorite arcade games that I keep coming back to when I'm sick of everything else. Sometimes I just want to play a few short games, and Joust delivers, because it just takes no mercy. Now, as I mentioned, the pterodactyl will come out after a while to remove you from the screen without incident. But just like being thrown out of a bar, you can put up a fight. It just usually ends in disaster. Haha! <laughs> it's the equivalent of punching out the bouncer and getting a free round of drinks all at the same time. Stabbing the pterodactyl in the mouth! And I was so happy after that that the rest of my game just went to hell. But I think you get the idea. It's Joust and it's awesome. If you've never played it before, it's always a good time for some bird ass. It's easy to find and super affordable for a variety of different game consoles, or you could just download the ROM for MAME emulation. Thy game of bird ass is now over.